Well, some frustrated neighbors in Kansas City are desperate for help, claiming their health and safety are in danger. Now, they say for years they've been calling the city's 311 action line with no action, so they called NBC Action News. Cynthia Newsom has tonight's top story. Cynthia? Brenda Phillips takes pride in her yard. The flowers are watered and the grass is cut. So when Brenda looks over her fence and sees this, she gets angry. Oh, it's awful. It's awful. We got the rats, we got the possums, the snakes. You know, they're really bad. Two houses here have been abandoned for several years. The taxes have not been paid and the lawns have not been mowed. Weeds are thick and tall. If you think the front yard is bad, take a look at the backyard. It's so overgrown, you need a machete to cut your way through. You're scared to go outside at night because you don't know who's in and out of these houses up and down the street. My grandkids don't care for snakes and, and rats. You, you can't get rid of them as long as it's, it's like this. We would like to see the grass be cut if they're going to bulldoze the house. They've been talking about bulldozing the house down for over two years. After getting a call from NBC Action News, the Neighborhood Services Acting Director in Kansas City decided to come and take a look. No, I, I wouldn't want to live next door to it, no. He admits one house is on the waiting list for demolition, and there's a reason it hasn't happened yet. We have nearly a 1,000 buildings on our dangerous buildings list to be demolished. And we, we are generally able to, to demolish about 125 to 150 a year. So while neighbors are waiting for demolition, the neighborhood services manager did promise to have the lots mowed in two weeks. Neighbors will be watching to see if this time around it's a promise the city will keep. Cynthia Newsom, NBC Action News.